Happy, happy, happy Tuesday. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all, I'm naked again. That girl ain't got no clothes on again. Hey, y'all. It's Dina. We're beyond the veil. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling this Tuesday? Yes. I'm feeling good, feeling great. I am in official vacation mode. My little trip don't start till tomorrow, but honey... I just left with my clients. I killed it, knocked it out. We went shopping for uh, materials to remodel their bathroom. After I left that store with those people, because they don't know, they you know they didn't, they've never remodeled a bathroom before. They thought they knew what they were doing, but I took them in there and start. You know, have you considered this, this, and this? And child, by the time we left that that store. They was talking about coming out to consult about redoing another part of the house. They didn't even think they wanted it, but now they're inspired. So it was a great morning. That was my only client to do today. I am ready for tomorrow. And as a matter of fact, hey, hey geez, who ain't finna have a nice little, sh I am, watch. Y'all want a shot this early in the morning? Because I'm on vacation. I got my Silly Putty Liquid Courage Cup that I got when I was doing HR at a zipline park. Cheers to us. <laughs> yes. Y'all want some here? There you go. All right. Woo! It's Tuesday, y'all. Like that bitch taking shots 11:34 on a Tuesday. Yes, yes. And instead of coffee in the morning, I'm having my famous mocha mosa. It's a four-hour drive. I'm being a bike seat linked. Okay, linked. Okay, linked. Okay, linked. Okay. <laughs> So, anyways, I know that was a lot, but y'all bored anyways. It's Tuesday. Y'all needed me. Anyways, good news, you guys. So, I have decided because I've had some people ask me about the ceremonies that I was talking about in my Aquarius video. Um, and I was talking about the things that I do uh, to prepare for the year. The fuck around and find out. Um, the blockbuster, the crown of success. I um, did say that I, I was thinking about making them group ceremonies. Well, you guys, I am doing two. Yes, my nail is broke, but as soon as I finish these videos, I'm going to re refix my nails. Um, I'm doing two ceremonies. They will be group ceremonies. They will be given at a discount rate. Um, and I love that you guys are inspired about taking, taking control of your own personal life. And I feel like even if you do vote, because I don't want anyone to think that I'm telling you, like, you're dumb if you don't vote. You're not woke if you don't vote. That's my personal preference. And I believe in voting just with money because I believe that the, the voices that matters are the one that pay or that the people um, in politics feel like business people and people that contribute greater to the economy are more valuable voices. I know that money talks in any industry, in any business. So once y'all see me in politics, just know that my money is talking. I, I will, I will make shit change by way of becoming successful so that my success generates power for me to be able to make things happen. That's my key. But I don't like to vote like in ballots. I want to be one of the power players. And so I'm going to wait till I position myself to make real change. And in the meantime, I do things that I can. I do my certain ceremonies. So I am going to do a road opening ceremony on November the 13th, which is a Wednesday. The ceremony will be $50 per participant. 
It will be recorded. It will be posted just like the last group ceremonies I did. The road opener is to remove obstacles out of your way. And it's good to do before a new year. I say before the new year because another thing to do before the new year or right around the new year is a a crown of success so that you can call in success in business and things like that. It's not like a fast money ritual. It's a crown of success, success in your job, success on your business. It, it means like bringing in money vis-a-vis -vis business, clients and all of that, employment, whatever. And so a road opener is just going to move any blockages or obstacles out of the way. I like to do this. I've never done a group road opener, but I imagine how much more power and how much more blockage can be removed if we have so many more people joining in and lending their energy. I imagine the results will be greater, but even in the little healing group ceremony that I did recently, I added a blockbuster element to it. Um, it was just supposed to be you guys sending me in your prayer requests and I was going to pray for healing and things like that. But I did add some of my obstacle removing um, juju. And one of my clients was like, because uh, she booked a reading with me after she did the group ceremony. And um, I never asked people to give me a testimonial but if don't nobody tell me that they got any results then i'll be taking it up with my spirits because i'll be like listen did you help those people did we help those people and i'll even pull cards to see if my work helped anybody and i did see but anyways one of the people was just like oh oh yeah like right the next day everything started falling in my lap da -da 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 -da. So the road opener is just like that thing where it seemed like it was so difficult to make moves and accomplish things. Easy road. So it's not it's not saying here, I'll take you there. It's saying I'll clear the way. March on. So the road opener will be November the 13th. That is um, six days before Pluto leaves Aquarius. I wanted to do it the day that Pluto leaves Aquarius, but I believe that that happens on a Tuesday. And I want to do the roll opener on a Wednesday. And I want to catch it right before Pluto leaves Aquarius, not after. So I'm doing it the week before. $50 per participation participant. Um, if you have any more questions about what that does and you need a more in-depth detail, let me know. I don't mind giving you... Um, a, a more detailed description of, of how that can be useful to you. Um, anyways, and then on November the 5th, I'm sorry, December the 5th, right before Christmas, and I didn't want to do it too close to the holiday, holiday part, Christmas, New Year, because people are busy. Um, that is going to be the crown of success. That is on Thursday, December 5th, and that is also $50. The roll opener, I believe, is usually 154. The crown of success, I believe, is 132 or vice versa. Anyway, so those are each $50. In order to participate in the first ceremony, which is on November the 13th, you need to have your spot claimed, I would say, um, a week before that because I would need to make sure that I have all the materials so a week before the 13th would be I don't know whatever a week is before the 13th because I don't have my calendar readily available let me just go on my Google Calendar then since I have it right in my face or do I oh here it is okay I'm sorry I want to give you guys the exact date so you would have to have your payment in by Wednesday November the 6th if you want to participate 
in the road opener, you'd have to have your payment and information in by Wednesday, November 6th. I need your name and I need your birthday. And I need um, you to have confirmed your spot. I could pro I'll probably do 10 a ceremony. If I get more participants than 10, then I'll do them in 10 every day. So if I get 30 people participating, I'll do 10 on the 13th, 10 on the 14th, and then 10 on the 15th. Just depends on how many people participate. So you have between now and November the 6th to participate in the group road, road opening ceremony. It is $50 and you have until Thursday, November 28th, I believe that's Thanksgiving. So I'll say instead, cause I'll say, yeah, you have until, that's not that much of a difference though. Um, but I can't, I can't let you guys wait until the day before because that's too short of a notice for me so you guys have until thanksgiving to um participate claim your spot for the crown of success now i did a group crown of success for my um subscriber party my 1000 subscriber party and i've heard so many great things about that y'all the crown of success doesn't play and both of those are are good for six months to a year they give you results that long. Um, sorry, William, you should have answered me when I first called. So that's that for the business. Now let's let's have some fun. I must have left my cards in the house, so let me go get them. All right, I'm back. So I want to do a reading this morning on the Tory Lane situation. I've done one reading on him. It was on my community tab. I believe I did a reading on him on my community tab, not my, a video reading. So I want to do this reading on Tory Lanez because he just, I believe, was granted an appeal. Maybe. I, I don't know. I see the headlines and then that's it. I don't always get too many details. But I think that he's trying to get an appeal and something just happened to where it's good news. He might get an appeal or something like that. Maybe. I, I'm going to read and see um, what the outcome will be for that. What's the out gonna be, outcome going to be for Tory Lanez? I believe that I predicted before that he may not end up doing the full amount of time that he was supposed to. And I believe a commenter, probably a Megan Thee Stallion stan, made a comment in contrary as if I was being sympathetic. <laughs> you guys always get me confused about how I feel about these things, even though I read on them, because I very rarely feel about any of these things. It's hard enough for me to feel anything about the things that happen in my life, let alone other people's. But um, anyways, I want to get an oracle for Tory Lanez on this situation, because I believe that there is a divine message for Tory Lanez. Whether he's guilty or not, the, the situation that he's in was allowed to happen because sometimes our ambitions, our egos, our pride, our ambitions or something can cause us to, you know, whether he did it or whether he did anything that he's accused of or not, or whether it's a setup. It feels like, you know, a little bit of ego was in play at some point. And you got to be careful with that because we always, always get bit when we let our egos um, take over us. And if he was really messing with Kelsey and Megan, that was an ego situation. And that's where it got you. And so it was humbling either way, but I'm not here to condemn or any of that or preach. I would just like to see. So most high mother and father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this gift. 
Thank you for the people that I share it with. Thank you for this platform. Thank you for vacation and vacation energy. Spirit, for now, do you have a message for Tory Lanes? What is your message for Tory Lanes, Spirit? As Pluto moves into Aquari Aquarius, he has seemed to have something positive go in his happen for him in his legal case. Ironically, Meg is an Aquarius. So an Aquarius is a fixed sign. And remember in my last video, I said this next Pluto and Aquarius is going to impact the fixed signs first. Meg, I'm sure this impacts you because the person that, you know, is locked up because of a incident that happened to you is now having at least a good day for himself in court. So even if that was a lesson for Tori, there is a lesson for Megan the Stallion. I'm interested to see if while Pluto is in Aquarius, it helps her, helps um, catapult her or brings her some challenges and how they'll be overcome. All right, so Spirit, we're talking about Tory Lanes. What is your message for Tory Lanes? A new start is coming. It's in reverse. Tory, you may huff and you may puff. It may not mean anything. It may not get you anywhere. Hold your vision is even in reverse. You're holding out hope. Believe in the impossible. Hold your vision. Step out of your comfort zone, which is a sill. Your hard work is paying off because you've been granted something in the courts. I don't know if you'll get the outcomes that you want. I saw that you might be able to get out early, but maybe what I, maybe you just might have good days in court sometimes and they still might not go anywhere. Spirit, why is a new start is coming in reverse for Tory Lanes? Give me one tarot card to tell me why the message for Tory Lanes is a new start is coming. It's a new moon card, but it's in reverse. What is this message for Tory Lanes? Judgment. Oh boy. This gives me an all new perspective about the outcome I saw in the last Megan the Stallion reading I did because I said she might she might be up for grabs management wise, but I'm starting to think more so that this is at some point in the future. But I'm starting to feel like this has more to do with Tory Lanes. This is what he's after, a fair judgment. Um, being able to appeal certain things that happen in the case by recalling certain facts. Especially because he absolutely feels like his attorney or other people we're helping railroad him, working with him and working with Rock Nation. And that being something that sabotaged him. Mm. See, Tory Lanez feels like he was railroaded because of some business dealings he had or not wanting to do some sort of musical project or business with Rock Nation. He at least feels like it has something to do with that. It seems like they may have offered him something, but he found he walked away for something better. Independence, maybe, because the Nine of Cups comes after the Eight of Cups, and the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment for oneself. One person benefits from the Nine of Cups. I think they offered him something. 
he walked away to be independent and he feels like he offended not only of not just offended jay-z or whomever these or the the people that wanted to do business with him but by not allowing them to profit from him he feels like things were orchestrated against him all right all right so let me get down to the nitty-gritty now let's let's crack this thing open I would like to say that Tory Lanes, because I saw a new start is coming in reverse, I would like to say that it's true, alleg allegedly, that there is some, not saying all, but some bullshit going on in his case. Some things th the man didn't receive a, to to a, to a total fair trial he wasn't completely being treated fair in this situation even if he was guilty in one spot or or whatever there is some muddying in, in the waters of his case um and there may be some continued muddiness i don't know most high mother and father god please allow me to conjure up the soul the spirit of tory lane's Allow me to see his situation from his soul because that way I can bypass his ego and his direct actions to see the bigger picture. I want to be in his soul's perspective so I can see what he saw. Not what he said, but what he saw, what he experienced. When I say that, I see myself and I see Kelsey here in front of me, and I see Megan here in front of me. And in my mind, we're on a street. In my mind, Megan is barefoot. I don't know if Kelsey is, but Megan is already barefoot. And I see arguing. Now I say I, I don't see Tory Lane, so I imagine I'm looking at it from his perspective. I see arguing. One here, one here, and here I am back here watching. I don't see interactions because my mind doesn't always show, you know, you don't always see the fighting, but what I see is two women arguing. I see an altercation between two women, like a triangle. One here, one here, and then here back here at the apex would be me watching it. I see them fighting. I don't see any one person getting the upper hand on the other. They're both, you know, they both duking it out. I would like to know if Kelsey went back to the car after they fought. If she went back to the car and either reached through a window or an open door. Most High Mother and Father God, will Tory Lanes be let out of jail sooner than he was sentenced as a result of the new motions filed in his case? As the outcome, I would like to see will Tory Lanes be let out of prison early before he was originally sentenced to? Can you allow me to see what will come? of Tory Lanez and his legal battles. Will he be victorious in having his his case or his ruling, his sentence um, thrown out? Or will he remain in that prison for the time and the duration that he's been sentenced to, no matter what he does? Uh, the Empress. this moment, Tory Lanez feels like all of the women involved in this case are working against him, but
See, this was in, Beyond in Beyonce's. Oh, I didn't even do that reading on here. I was about to give y'all some tea on a reading that I did in my own spare time. I was asking if Beyonce truly, 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 genuinely supported Kamala or was it in a call of duty? <laughs> I will say from what I saw, because I'm not doing any more political readings on this channel. Um, I will say that this was in Beyonce's near future. Which makes me think allegedly that that woman did have some type of relationship with Rock. As a matter of fact, maybe Kelsey, Megan, that lady, and all the ladies involved had to play to the drum of Rock Nation. Something even about that reporter lady, Megan, she, she, she seems to be a, I don't want to say paid, she'll paid, but she's very favorable to one side. It doesn't seem, it does, I, I'm not sure, I haven't heard anything and I'm not saying she's, she's not reporting the facts. I'm just saying the energy involved seems like all, a lot of the prominent women involved in this case, something about them ain't right. Um, if I think that Tori feels like if it weren't for them, he might not be in. And another thing, all those women are responsible for him being in the situation he's in or him not being able to be let out. Not saying fully responsible because all parties involved that night was on some fuck shit. Something about the women though, Kelsey, Megan, his first attorney, the other Megan, the reporter, any a lot of them allegedly something, not saying that something didn't happen, but these women seem to come together, but not in an upright way. Because the challenge is Tori getting out and being released, but it's the challenge due to the presence of the divine feminine. Tori Lanez was very quiet about something intentionally, not just intentionally, but legally. He was being, he, he, for some reason, he could not speak his truth. I get this often when cease and desist have been issued or there is a legal consequence to why someone isn't talking. Because the three of swords precedes this, Tori chose to keep his mouth shut because it would probably do more damage than good. And I maintain that Tori believed that the situation would be handled in a way that was fair for everyone. He believed that it was best if some other entity stepped in and made it go away for everyone. What he didn't know, though, is that he was going to be thrown to the wolves. And his decision to participate with that plan early on was because he thought that all involved parties were going to come out of this unscathed. There seemed to have been a plan made behind his back. It seems like he didn't realize that he was being thrown to the wolves until he had already decided to keep his mouth shut. This isn't silence because of guilt. This is a strategic silence. Oh, mm. I don't know. Tory Lanez, near future, you have the Five of Cups. I don't know if the next thing that you'll bring up is the fact that you apologize for something on the phone. Maybe the next thing you'll do is explain why you apologize. If not you, someone else directly, we may, we may get to the discussion about, well, you know, even if all of that is true, you apologize. And then it can be like, okay, well, here's why. Or some entities in the music industry, because this is Cups, could 
work against you to give you another very bad day. Hmm. Witnesses, evidence, and things that should be seen. Tori wants to call into question evidence, witnesses, things like that. That's what's on his mind. Because it wasn't shown, it wasn't heard, or something like it was suppressed. Evidence was suppressed. And because of the position I'm seeing it in, as it's crowning and so below, this doesn't have anything to do with Tory. This is almost the truth of the matter. So that's what I was picking up on when I said, even if everybody involved was on some fuck shit, evidence was suppressed. Because this isn't something that I would pick up from Tory's ego. This is something that I would pick up about the situation itself. Allegedly, there was evidence suppressed. Now, I remind you, I said in his past position, there was a strategic reason to be quiet. And I mentioned that preceding the Four of Cups, there was something that happened that didn't look good for all involved parties. And an entity stepped in and said, let me handle it for everybody. Well, here's that Three of Swords. Allegedly, his reason, because this would be in the actions or advice position, someone advised him. Someone advised him, and I've said this for uh, since my first time reading this, that they would make this go away for all involved parties. And then he was stabbed in the back. I got this card when I was, I actually kept getting this card for weeks and weeks and weeks when I would be reading my partnership with Andrew and Natasha to see how things were going. And at some point I was walking around on eggshells because Andrew had been very verbally abusive to me. Um, and I confided in Natasha that I was nervous about how to approach any conversation in business because he was going to yell and cuss at me. Um, Betrayal. This is the card I always see for betrayal. When someone else stabs you in the back in the worst place and your blood is on their hands. Side note, if Andrew and Natasha ever stopped me and watched this, I got this for you guys. My blood is on your hands. You got to pay for that. And that ain't, that ain't just a me rule. You have to pay for that. Anyways, absolutely betrayed absolutely betrayed and because no one was physically killed or murdered in this card we're not talking about megan the stallion here we're talking about tory lanes he was betrayed everybody betrayed him because it seems like there was some sort of agreement that this was supposed to go away because everybody involved was on some fuck shit kelsey megan and tory Your little ego, you know, your little ego wanting to fuck two best friends. Y'all at a party and you want to fuck the party host too. And then think that you can, you know, charm your way out of it. No. Lesson learned for you too. Keep your head on a swivel on the, in the industry. And don't be so chivalrous, 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 whatever. It's the shot. That you don't protect your own neck. Ain't no friends in the game. Ain't no friends in this world. Tory Lanez, you got betrayed. I'm sorry for that. Hopes and fears position. It'll be a challenge going back into this situation legally because in order for him to win, he'd have to fight a whole bunch of legal stuff that was done. And there's a man rowing this boat for this woman and this child. Me thinks allegedly that Jay-Z would be this man. 
in order for him to win, he'd have to dig up all Jay-Z's dirt, everything that Jay-Z did to get them to get Megan out of this situation. It's like fighting an uphill battle. No, Tory Lanez, you're going to stay in jail. Unfortunately, fortunately, whatever. I have no dog in this fight. You're going to stay in jail. And you're going to get some bad news in the near future. You shouldn't have tried to help after the fact. Because this person said, all right, y'all, I'm going to step in, make my money talk, my connections. This is what we're going to do. This person always has the blueprint for whatever we're building here. And these two are listening to the plans. They're, they're, you know, like today, I just met with a client because they're getting ready to remodel their house. We start with the bathroom. The electrician and plumber were out today taking a look at it so that they can kind of get an idea of how this project was going to go. So I am the client liaison and one of the project managers. And then the contractor that's actually doing it, he's also there because they're discussing business. So this would have been something like what I was experiencing today. This would have been Andrew. Ironically, I'm working with another Andrew. <laughs> but this one is legit. Um, this would have been Andrew because he oversees the project. And then this is the plumber and the electrician and me and the clients. And we're all learning from the plans that Andrew has to oversee as the general contractor. Eight of Swords as the outcome for Tory Lanez. Is this justice for Megan that he stays in? Or is this an unfortunate event for Tory Lanez that he stays in? You're not getting out, son. I don't know if this is an attorney or a judge. This feels more like a judge. The problem is the gun. If for nothing else, it's the gun. It's just the gun, Tory Lanez. You're not in there for what you did to, allegedly did to Megan Thee Stallion. You're in there because you weren't supposed to be around guns. If it weren't for that, you would have a defense. But they didn't put you in there for shooting Megan the Stallion. I don't believe they put you in there because of the gun situation. That's why you're not gonna get out. Even if it wasn't yours, you were in there with one and you knew that it was in there. more to say here. Let me look into this Ten of Swords. Some of the swords, it's a lot of swords here. Ten. Five. That argument. The results of that argument was you being the one left out to take the full L. Seems like someone was paid under the table. I don't know if this is from Tori though. This is the queen of pentacles. I don't see Tori having co enough coin to make someone a queen. But this person took money, but in a selfish way, 
if this is Kelsey, then there was a bribe allegedly, or she was paid off to not speak her truth, which I don't think would have negatively impacted Tory, which is why he could only be charged with that gun, not actually firing it. Kelsey, you walked to the car and got that gun, didn't you, allegedly? Y'all was fighting in the street. You walked back to the car and got the gun, didn't you, allegedly? Because you were drunk, too. And that's how this situation happened. Both of y'all were drunk and enraged. It feels like there were already resentments and negative feelings festering in your relationships, whether they was addressed or not. I don't know if it had everything to do with Megan being put on, more so as it had to do with her not being a very good friend to you. She wasn't a good friend to you. There was already some resentments festering in you and in Megan. Because even though she was the one being put on, there was still some need to spite Kelsey also. Kelsey, did you go back to the car and get that gun? got stole. Mm, okay, that's uh this is Meg. This would be Jay Z in reverse. Oh finding out that she was flat broke. Megan Megan Jay-Z took advantage of you, too. Somebody, I think I heard on some kind of, maybe I heard academics say Jay-Z likes to find artists that are, like, down bad. So that he can, like, own them, save them from their situation so that he can own them. I believe academics on that. I see that here. This will be Megan's situation. Stuck in that deal and broke. Baroque. And yes, they probably were taking money from you, Megan. I'm talking about 1501. Jay-Z found that out. Hmm. It's like buying an investment property, a flip property. You find a broke down, run down property. It's going to, you know. You can get it at 130,000. Put 30, 40 grand in there and then resell it for about 2, 215, somewhere around that. Flip it, make a profit. That's what you were, Megan the Stallion. You are a flip and fix and flip. Glad I'm a realtor so that I can speak it in those terms. You were a fix and flip. So you know, even though you've got the machine behind you, I hope you just know that it wasn't genuine. And don't ever get too comfortable in this industry, not even when you're being propped up. Jay-Z didn't find value in you because of your gift and all of that. It wasn't genuine is what he does, allegedly. Four of Swords. There was a, a intentionally supposed to be some mishandling of certain evidence because Tory believed that it was going to make, you know, the situation go away. I don't think that he thought he would have been implicated in the shooting or the gun situation. And I think that they were going to try to work it 
maybe just maybe the plan to sabotage Tory didn't come until after the state picked it up. He stayed quiet because they were supposed to get rid of things. That may have been true until the state picked it up. Mm. Who shot at Eight of Wands is the shooting? Who? Who? Who did that? Was it Tori or was it someone else? Who? The moon. The moon in reverse. I wish I knew Kelsey's name. Kelsey. I'm trying to find Kelsey's birthday. Kelsey Nicole. Kelsey Nicole. Let me find your birthday, honey. August 28th. You're a Virgo. Or is that you? It says Instagram star, Victoria, Texas. That sounds like you, Texas. Um, all right, I'ma just say that you're a Leo. Okay, the moon. Did Kelsey have her hands on that gun when any bullets were discharged? Was it, did Kelsey have her hand on the gun when any bullets were discharged? I see drunk, um, sobering. Seems as though when it happened, somebody was heavily intoxicated, but they quickly became sober. Once they realized what they'd done. And then I believe that someone else ran to them to grab it out of their hands before that person could do anything else. And some people in the houses or apartments around saw this. Like when they said they saw two girls fighting, they said they saw the gun in Tori's hand. Well, Seems like Tori realized that someone was drunk enough to shoot that gun. He ran over there. He rushed over there to grab it. And some people saw that. Some people saw it. But they lied. They may have even yelled out of the window. Hey there, hey, what's going on down there? They lied. Because the big emperor put the pressure on. That's unfortunate. Let me look into that big emperor. That evidence disappeared. All right, unfortunately, this wanted to fall out of my lap. So let's look at it before I go because I was about to close. Someone, because they had a lot of help getting out of their bad situation, they couldn't be implicated in this. Now this is an air sign card, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Allegedly, Megan the Stallion, because of the amount of money 
that was just invested into you to get you out of that Carl situation, they weren't going to let that go after they were in that deep. And this is the trial. And Megan, you also know why people don't like you in the industry. It's very interesting why uh, when you come out in your rap, in your raps, and you're throwing throwing your jabs. I get it. You don't, you know, you've had to deal with people talking about you. But Megan, why are you throwing jabs at people when they know they know the tea? I get it though. I get it. I'm looking in behind this help that you had a lot of help getting out of your situation again. You were you were in poverty. This is this isn't just regular broke. This isn't the 7 of pentacles, the 6 of pentacles. This is the worst pentacle. It's worse than the ace of pentacles. It's poverty. And this is you. And you had done something out of recklessness allegedly you were also willing oh, let me see Megan you are very um you feel very empowered about speaking your truth this is why you are protected. You're not concerned. You're protected and now you're Megan the Stallion. You're not concerned about being taken down. You've seen what your management can do for you. You feel very confident because you're protected now. Allegedly. Um, but this reading was to ask if Tory Lane's going to get out. No. Nope, 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 nope. I don't see you getting out anytime sooner than what you're supposed to legally. Unfortunately, because I do see that you were railroaded um, and shame on those people who lied because I didn't see a lie out of fear. Love you guys, bye.